through TV and the Watergate hearings, tens of millions of Americans got to participate symbolically, vicariously, and emotionally in the deliberations of the committee. So viewing became seen as morally obligatory for wide segments of the population. Old routines were broken, new ones were formed, and you saw a highly simplified drama with heroes and villains, and you had these powerful symbols created. So the administration witnesses appealed to loyalty as the ultimate standard that should govern their relationship. And so they'd bring their, their wife and their children with them if they had them. And so you'd see the family lined up behind them, prim and proper, trying to provide symbolic links to tradition, to authority, and to personal loyalty that uh, epitomizes the right. On the other hand, the senators were playing a different game, right? They denied any particular sentiments, motivations, or interests, right? They were presented as lacking these kind of normal human and, and political interests, right? They, they stepped out of the normal political realities of everyday life, right, where you have clashing interests. And so they denied any moral context to the behavior of the witnesses. So the only positive explanation that the senators allowed was that the conspirators were simple, they were devoid of common sense, and they were evil. And then you had the presentation of these ringing affirmations of universalistic myths of American civic culture. So the senators maintained that every American, high or low, rich or poor, acts virtuously in terms of the pure universalism of civil society, that uh, none of the prosecution interests are selfish or inhumane, 